Yo fam, I think these are it. These are probably the best earbuds for fitness in 2020. Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jeremy and here we do all things fitness. We talk about fitness, we work out together with some follow along workouts, we eat, we do everything. And today for some reason, I just feel like reviewing things. I'm just on this reviewing spree, right? So I figured let's review my all time favorite earbuds, the Jaybird Vistas. So before we jump into the review, I just wanna say that I am an ambassador for Jaybirds, but I will still be providing you an unbiased review because I've had these earbuds for about a year now and I wanted to share my experience with you of some pros, some cons, and if these are gonna be a good fit for you or not. But as a pro for being an ambassador, I am able to do a giveaway for you guys. So if you aren't already following me on Instagram, follow me and make sure you are a part of this giveaway because I have the chance to give you away a free pair. But if you're not feeling as lucky, I have an affiliate link in the description box below where you can also use my code Jeremy11 so you can secure yourself a pair no matter what. But without further ado, let's jump into this review. All right, so I guess let's just start with an unboxing, right? So in the box, you get another really nice looking box. And keep in mind, this is the Planetary Green Special Edition. So I believe the other colors don't get this cool pattern for their boxes. So if you want one of these, you better act fast. And of course, after you open the box, you have the earbuds themselves. And in the past, Jaybird earbuds came with like a separate case, but now with charging built into the case, the earbuds are magnetically inserted into the case itself. For accessories, it's super simple now. The earbuds have a medium casing on, and if that doesn't fit you, you'll find a larger wing tip, number three, or a smaller no tip casing, number one. I call it casing because when you change these things out, you literally remove the casing off the entire earbud. So here you can see I replaced wingtip case with number one. And as you can see, when I put that back into the case, it still fits seamlessly. Ooh, that snap though. Thumbs up for that magnetic snap. I love that thing. So as you can see, this is a brand new pair and I haven't booted it. So that's why when I put these earbuds back into the case, you don't see the case lighting up. To charge the case, the final accessory in the box is this USB-C charging cable. And what's left in the box are those papers nobody really looks at. All right, so as an ambassador, I am fortunate enough to have the Vistas in the colorways that are existing right now. That means I get to show you guys all the colors and hopefully that helps you pick out which color is the right one for you if you choose to get a pair of Vistas. So the Vistas come in four different colorways right now. That includes mineral blue, Planetary green, and keep in mind this one is back for a limited time. This is the limited edition colorway. Nimbus gray and black. Out of all the colors, only the black one has a different colored inside and my personal favorite one here is actually the Nimbus gray, mainly because of the contrast against my skin. I found that when I'm working out and I'm like really in the zone, these are pretty low profile. So when I wear a darker color in the gym and someone randomly tries to talk to me, they may not notice the earbuds in my ears and think I'm just rudely ignoring them, but that's not the case. Whereas in the Nimbus grays, they kind of stand out more and it's a clear indicator that I'm not ignoring people and I just have music blasting in my ear. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty details of functionality. So because I am an iPhone user, I do have AirPods, but I feel like this is a reasonable comparison because at some point in your life, you've probably had a friend that like put those like AirPod earbud things in your ear, like the original wired ones or the true wireless AirPods themselves. Like you've probably experienced or seen them like in the store. But anyways, here's a comparison between the AirPods and the Vistas. So side by side, in terms of portability, height wise, the Vistas are definitely bigger, but width wise, they're practically the same. And when it comes to the actual earbuds, once the Vistas are in your ears, it's a pretty slim profile. It doesn't really stick out too much. Whereas the AirPods have like a little tooth thing hanging out. Bluetooth connectivity is amazing on the Vistas. I will say one little caveat though is sometimes when you take the buds out of the case, 
Both buds don't connect automatically. Sometimes only one side will, but tapping the other side will wake the bud up and immediately connect it. In terms of playback for video and music, in general, I didn't really notice any lag or delay. However, one part where the Vistas could use improvement on is phone calls. In a call, the user experience is a little challenging because calls kind of sound hollow. It sounds like a bunch of air is just being blown and I'm not sure what the receiving end of that call sounds like, but I find myself having to really project so the other person on the call can actually hear me. But I mean, let's be honest, I'm not using these earbuds for phone calls. I want these things to mute the world out when I'm trying to work out and the last thing I wanna do when I work out is answer a phone call. Bluetooth range on the Vistas is crazy good. Check this out. The gym I used to go to, Mission Fitness Center, says it's a 10,000 square feet facility. For me, when I train in general, I hate having my phone on me, so what I would do is I would find a playlist, hit play, then prop my phone on the top of these cable machines and walk away. No one ever looks up here and I could literally walk away anywhere in the gym, do anything, and my music would still be playing even if I was on the second floor. I know I'm not wearing them in some of these clips, but I wanted to give you an idea of the range for Bluetooth. Being able to move around without having to keep my phone on hand made training that much more fun for me. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the build quality for the Vistas. And these, these, things, are, these things are built to last. Like, I've thrown this in my bag, I've dropped it, I've kicked it accidentally, and they, they still look really good. So speaking of ear and fit, hopefully this helps you guys, but when I use the AirPods, they kind of sit perfectly in my ear like that comfortably. And for the Jaybirds, on that same note, straight out of the box without changing the tips, these also fit pretty snug. So I guess if you're an AirPod user and you've put that in your ear and it fits pretty well, the Jaybird Vistas will fit well too. But if not, you also have the accessories kit, so if you need a larger fit to make it more snug or a smaller fit, that should help you. So when it comes to sound, I could pretend to tell you that the bass sounds amazing and the mids are great, but in all honesty, when you get to this tier in pricing for true wireless earbuds, it's hard to tell a difference. Like, they all sound great. However, once you get a really good seal with the Vistas, you can definitely tell they're amazing with noise isolation, and the crazy part about these things is within the Jaybird app, you can actually personalize your sound. So as you can see here, I don't have a personalized preset set up, but that's because I use a signature preset and I already enjoy that sound. They've got a bunch of other presets to start you off with, or you could hop into Discover and find a whole bunch of other presets as well. All of these will change how your earbuds will produce music. So if you like a deeper bass or more mids or whatever you want. As far as sound quality goes, the Vistas really nail it. So how have the Vistas been after one year of use? In terms of battery life, it's been super amazing. Like I only have to charge it once a week for one to two hour use for six to seven days. Did that make sense? It made sense in my head. But yeah, in a week, working out six to seven days, I only have to charge it once. And on top of that, when I'm doing all my fitness activities, the hold has been amazing. When I'm boxing, the Vistas stay in place, even as I roll and slip, like with crazy head movements, it still holds really well and I still have that seal for amazing sound. So this is really specific and I don't know about you guys, but when I clench my jaw, like, you know, like when you're lifting weights and you're in pain, you, you make like that face. Well, when you do that, like your ears kind of shift and sometimes the seal breaks and you can tell like there's like a difference in sound right there. In the case of the Vistas, that remains true too. However, it doesn't happen as often and the seal pretty much remains intact. And it's really easy to actually adjust the Vistas like on the go. Like you don't have to like precisely like move. I literally just like, and I'm good to go again. When I'm doing other crazy movements like jump roping, no matter how vigorous the movement gets, the earbuds still stay pretty flush in my ear and it keeps a pretty solid seal too. Even when I do crazy stuff like full 360s, like these fins, the little tips right there, really helps the earbuds stay in place. Also, when doing high intensity interval training, when doing HIT or just other crazy movements in general, the earbuds still sit pretty flushed and my music is on point. I don't have to worry about it. I forgot to mention when you use the headphones, you can actually customize how they perform in the app. 
There's no external buttons on the Vistas besides the shell itself, so it's gonna vary on the duration of the press and how many presses you perform. You can program these types of presses on the earbuds for different functions. So right now you can see I have the next track and the up and volume set up and that's all I really use when I'm using my earbuds. So to sum everything all up, I'm that guy that always needs like the latest and greatest things. Like I'm always like researching, looking up articles and figuring out like what's new, what's hot, what's next. Oh, I don't have that yet, I want it. But when it comes to true wireless earbuds, the Vistas literally fulfill everything I need in true wireless earbuds. And since I've gone a pair in like 2019, I have not looked into the market. I haven't looked for another pair of true wireless earbuds just because the Vistas literally fulfill everything I need in a pair of true wireless earbuds for fitness. And while I am an ambassador for Jaybirds, I want you guys to know that I wouldn't stand behind a brand I didn't believe in. And as an ambassador, an advantage of being an ambassador, I get to do this giveaway for you guys. So with that being said, make sure you find my Instagram down below, hit that link and look for the post for the giveaway. In fact, by the time this video is live, the giveaway should be live too. And if you've missed the giveaway, don't worry, there's gonna be future giveaways to come. But if you wanna secure a pair right now at a discount, my affiliate link is right there and the code for that discount is also available. Anyways guys, I hope this review helps you decide if the Jaybird Vistas are the true wireless earbuds for you. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And yo, I'm on this like reviewing spree. Drop a comment below and let me know what we should review next. Whether it's fitness, food, products, just whatever it is, let's do something else. But yeah guys, I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Peace. Yeah.